He warns there's a downside to it all. It partly boils down to water. Even though they keep saying that they're developing methods for reducing water use, their water use keeps going up. And in a place like Phoenix, in a state that's been in drought for 40 years, that's concerning. You need vast amounts of water to cool systems and generate the electricity for chip fabrication. Companies can reclaim and recycle some of it, but the World Economic Forum says that isn't enough. Semiconductor manufacturing and packaging can bring in thousands of new jobs, like in the case of Amcor Technologies' new facilities in North Peoria, but Barish wonders how many of them will go to Arizona residents. When you create lots of new jobs in an area like Phoenix, typically you bring people from other places. It is up to us as Arizona to train the people. If these companies are not going to find the people, then it's going to be very hard for these companies to come in. On Sunday, Stetson Valley residents told us their concerns over the TSMC-backed North Park development, which, if rezoned, could bring in up to 15,000 new homes. They're worried about traffic congestion and safety, density, and the loss of open space and recreation, accusing TSMC of only thinking about their employees. Amanda McGowan tells me she learned Monday night that the company could also build another semiconductor plant in the purple area if rezoning is approved. You know, when you look at a map and it says Innovation Corridor, you just don't realize that that's what they're planning on doing, and it, it feels deceptive. TSMC Arizona is responding, telling ABC 15 there were changes to the project following community meetings last year. They insist the rezoning would include 2,100 acres of public access with trails and that the traffic study they used is current. Josh Cristianto, Arizona Tonight.